So lads, I, I'm just kind of in shock. This is a thing, apparently. Manute Bowl. Not only Manute Bowl, we all know Manute Bowl's a thing. He was an NBA player. Heck, his son's an NBA player. And ironically enough, Manu Bowl might be cheesier than his son. They may be the two fastest players in this game of next gen. I don't know what it is. Like Manu or Bowl Bowl is faster than Chris Tapps. I don't know what it is. And this is the fastest player I have ever used on next gen. I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. 41 hops. Hoff Interceptor. He has got Hoff Blinders. Hoff Rage Extender. He's also got Gold Clubs. Only Gold Quick First Step. Let's just tell you don't count. Only Gold Quick First Step. Moderately good post game. 85 driving dunk, 86 ball handle, 98 block. Really good defense. 83 speed, 80 speed play, 83 acceleration. You're like, okay, that doesn't seem great. It's 87 lateral. He's 7 foot 7 and his wingspan's 8 foot 5. It's just, let's just say that much. Let's check out the price. New bowl. I think I paid like 46k for my one. Yeah, he's a bit under 50. So again, we paid 46k for this card. So if you guys could leave a like, that'd be greatly appreciated. We paid quite a bit. He's more than 47k. Okay, thankfully he's not too cheap. Thankfully, he's in there in the 50k mark. Because man, I was getting worried he was going to be cheaper. I was getting worried he was going to be cheap. And that is somewhat... Like, that's affordable, but it's not cheap. And a lot of people are saying, Oh, he doesn't have a behind the back. He can't curry slide. <sighs> like, yeah, his behind the back is bad. But I mean, he can still do this. And if you guys don't know, the normal one side to side is still alright. Because he's got he's got shifty or quick. He's got... Sorry, he's got fundamental. Fundamental isn't that bad. And again, a lot of people are saying he doesn't have quick or shifty. I'm telling you, you can still burst off fundamental. It's not slasher. It does not slow you down. You can burst off fundamental. We were saying it with Auto Porter. His release is not... Like, he can't quick stop. Maybe he can. Can he quick stop? I don't know, but this release is okay. Like, set shot 19 is not terrible. Dude is 7 foot 7. He's got 99 speed. I don't care. I do not care what the stats say. Look at him move. Look at him move. He's the fastest player in the game. And if you're wondering and you're like, okay, he's not moving that fast. That's not 99 speed. This is 97 speed. This is 97 speed. And you cannot tell me that that is slower than this. You cannot tell me that this is not a 99 speed player. And his acceleration is still crazy. Again, even without quicker shifty, it doesn't matter. He gets in the post, he's gonna get these glitchy layups. He's gonna get all these glitchy dunks, because again, dude's 7 foot 7. And as well as that, he's a small forward, slash 2 guard. You can literally just have him spotting up on the wing, and he'll hit shots. I don't care what anyone says, set shot 19 is not a bad catch and shoot release, especially on this gen. I was saying it during the Kelly Olynyk gameplay that it's pretty chicken. But they put it on very quick. I thought they were going to give him normal timing. I really did. Because he's the only player in the game who has a release on slow timing. But still, like... Come on. Come on. This card is just too cheesy. And he's a freaking two guard! He can quick stop. You can quick stop with fundamental. Not as well as quicker shifty, but... Definitely the third best dribble style to have. Man, he... He can just run by everybody. This is 2k20. This is 2k20 Mirasan. This is pre-patch 2k20 Mirasan on steroids because he can shoot from Limitless. Like, you literally are just going to outrun everybody and run down and dunk on people. He might He's one of the most broken cards in my team. Oh, the two bowls are just ridiculous. The father-son duo of Manute Bowl and Bowl Bowl, it's, it's just too good. They're just too good. So anyway, now it's Grimm on 3. Now let's get on to the game. And you guys might be saying, like... On current, oh, on current gen, he's not going to have this speed. Duke can speed glitch on current gen. Let's look at this guy. This is... This is the best player in... This is a top 10 player in my team right now. This is a top 10 player. The question is, though, is he better than his son? Which is tough. 
Which is a tough one to say. Which is a tough one to say. Because, I mean, Bowl Bowl's elite. But I don't know whether I would consider Manute Bowl to be better than Bowl Bowl. I mean, the fact he can play, you can play both of them together with Porzingis. Like, you can legitimately run Manute Bowl, Bowl Bowl, Porzingis, Vlade Divac a point guard if you wanted to. Or Vlade at small for Giannis a point guard. He's got Kristaps. Kristaps isn't fast enough. Kristaps is not fast enough. Neither is... Men's image isn't good enough on defense. You see that? Tall players get glitchy animations. It does not matter their stats. They will get glitchy animations. It's a steal. Manu Ball is too fast. He's too fast. He is the fastest player. And this... this and he... I thought he got a contest on that. I was like, if he got a contest on that one... Like, literally, just attacked his wing. He's too... Like, Porzingis is one of the fastest players in the game. Porzingis is super fast. And he's 7-3. There's nothing that he can do. Bowl, bowl. Just solely due to the fact that... Well, tall players are faster with the ball. Solely due to the fact that he's taller. Bowl... Or Manute Bowl. If I call him Bowl, bowl at any stage, I am. Sorry. Manute Bowl is... Just completely destroying Kristaps. Purely for the fact that... He's taller. The only reason it's a terrible shot. Oh, we got they got unlucky there. So I want to see if we can if we can attempt to run hash. And I thought he was oh I should have shot that. I should have shot that. Nope. I'm gonna attempt to run the circle and see if he leaves me open, which he kind of does, and we smoke it. That's a good shot though. That's green. He blew that. He hit it really. All right, I guess. But like, again, like he's switching to Porzingis. He can't, like he's literally unguardable attacking that deep hash. Deep hash is alive with Manu Bowl. Deep hash is alive and well. You legit cannot stop deep hash. With this card. Let me just run again. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Kobe's on him. Oh yeah, deep hook. Doesn't matter, unguardable. Unguardable. I oh, man, like I thought we were gonna be getting a cheese manu bowl. Did not think this cheesy. I did not think we were getting a arguable card in the best possible squad. Where Zingas can't guard him. He he timed that to perfection. Like I give you give credit where credit's due in that situation. That is him doing an exceptional job on defense, realizing that the only thing he can do is get blocks from behind. And he's done it again. That's just really good by him. But still, he just runs past him. Porzingis is one of the best defensive players in this game. And he's just getting ran by. Whatever, right, still. And he should not be able to catch up right here. Nope. And I wish... I'm going to go for some safe dunks from now on. Or I might go for some layups. Layups might might be the key to not getting blocked from behind. Layups might be the key. It's a bad shot. Nope, it goes in. Deep hash layups. Like, you're even seeing, he's not even attempting to guard him now. Okay, he's just gone into the key. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'm going to run the other side, away from the drop back, and then we're going to stop and shoot the three. That's just me being bad. Simply put, that's just me being bad. Oh, we're green that one, though. We're green in that shot. We're not missing two in a row. And I've just realized it's quarter past eight. I'm missing I'm missing Italy versus Turkey for this. Steal. That's a bad defense. No. Minute ball's there. He can cover everything. And he's having to protect the basket. And leaves me wide open for three. The only way to stop Minute Ball is by usering your player and dropping to the basket. And I can pull up on hash. This is 2k20. This is literally 2k20 deep hash all over again. With this guy here. And that's three greens in a row. It, this is the most ridiculous card in the game. This is the most ridiculously broken card in the game. And is it a good... Is it... like it's Maybe it's late enough in the year where you can say, you know what, it's kind of fun using a card that's this broken, but... 
Broken does not even describe him. He's just too good. He's just too good. I, I can't say he's not worth 50k. I can't say he's not worth it because you can literally run. Just run to the basket with him. He's like guaranteed wins. Unless your opponent. Like my opponent was good. And he had Porzingis Simmons and. I can't remember who his third player was. Either way though he was good. He knew what he was doing. He was. And Kobe. He was smart on defense. He knew what he was doing. He took good shots. Manu Bowl covers half the court when you press the triangle button. And he's the fastest player in the game. I just, I'm interested to see what he's like with the speed boost. He's legit the most broken card in the history of my team. He is the best player. He's, no, he's not the most broken card in the history of my team. He's the most broken card this year. He might be the most broken card in the history of my team. He is, right now, you could argue the cheat. I'm not going to say he's the best player. He's not the best player. He's the cheesiest player in my team. He is the cheesiest player in my team. And you know what? I'm going to say it right now. I'm not even going to say that Yao Ming is the cheesiest player in my team history because Yao Ming cost 2 million when he came out. Yao Ming's cheapest was 1 million in the last couple of weeks of the game. We've still got two more months of content, give or take. And we've got a Manute Bowl card that is not going to go above 60k. Let's be real, he is not going to go above 60k. And we have the new cheese title. We have the new title as the cheesiest player in my team. And due to his price... I'm going to say he is the cheesiest player we have seen since pre-patch Amethyst Hito Turkoglu in 2K19. He is cheesier than anything we saw in 2K20. He is cheesier than pretty much anything we've seen any other year. He is the cheesiest card. And I'm not, again, if a card's got 99 every stat and costs 1 million MT, you know what? Like a Kareem, they're cheesy, but like most people don't have Kareem. So it's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world if you like see Kareem. Because most people don't have Kareem. Like last last year it was, wasn't that common to come up against a Kareem. Although I did come up against a team of 15 Kareems on PC. It wasn't that common to come up against Kareem. And it also wasn't that common to come up against Yao that much. In an unlimited game. But I mean, you're going to come up against this guy so much because he's 50k. The cheesiest player in my team right now lads. And I just got I just got to say it. I just got to say it. If he's 40k, 50k, 100k. If you just want to cheese and run through. And like remember the way we all did this when we were kids. And I refuse to believe anyone didn't. You, everyone used to back in the old NBA Live games. They would make like a custom team. And put themselves as a creative player. Maybe maybe you guys didn't. Because custom teams weren't necessarily a thing. They were a thing in like the old 2K games. You would make a custom team. You would put make yourself as the player. Give yourself all 99 stats. And make yourself 7'7". Seven seven. That is basically what this Manute Bow card is. He is the custom card you made of yourself when you were 10 years old and destroyed the CP and would drop 100 points in the game um, against the computer on Rookie. That is the only way I can describe this card. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.